welcome to PMPA's Final Cut of the Week, where we share important information you may have missed while you were making essential parts. I'm Doreen Davis, Jr. And I'm Carly Kissler miller and this is what you need to know for the week ending September 20th, 2024. The Federal Reserve hit with a surprise 50 basis point rate cut released from the FOMC meeting this week. The market had been expecting a small 25 basis point cut. Our take? Lowering the interest will make equipment and lines of credit easier to manage. The Fed is moving to easier money policies, which could flame inflation again. The dot plot is indicating at least a 25 basis point cut by the end of the year, with a little over half projecting the rate to drop at an additional 50 basis points by the end of 2024. According to firms responding to the September 2024 Empire State Manufacturing Survey business, activity grew in New York State for the first time in nearly a year. The headline general business conditions index rose 16 points to 11.5. New orders climbed, shipments grew significantly. Delivery times and supply availability were steady while inventories leveled off. However, labor market conditions remained soft with employment continuing to contract modestly and the average work week holding steady. The pace of input and selling price increases were little changed. Firms grew more optimistic that conditions would improve in the months ahead, though the capital spending index dipped below zero for the first time since 2020. While the general business indicator grew modestly, the shipment index rose to a multi-year high of 18 points to 17.9. Stronger shipments justify optimism as growing shipments equals growing revenue. The Biden administration confirmed on September 13th that sharp tariff hikes on imports from China will take effect on September 27th. The Office of the U.S. Trade Representative, USTR, confirmed most of the increased rates that the White House had announced in May, with some adjustments to the list. Beginning on September 27th, the tariff on electric vehicles imported from China will quadruple from 25% to 100%. Canada announced Monday that they will match the U.S. 100% tariff increase. While we prefer non-government intervention in the markets that we serve, tough targeted tariffs such as these are essential to counteract China's subsidies and technology transfer policies, which have led to theft of U.S. companies' intellectual property, overinvestment, and excess production capacity. In July, Machine tool orders fell 19.3% from June 2024 orders and down 7.8% from July 2023. Year-to-date orders are down 10.5% from 2023. When looking at historical data for election years, sales tend to decline. Elections create uncertainty and uncertainty tightens purse strings. Take advantage of deals while everyone else watches from the sidelines. Microsoft has updated a key cryptographic library with two new encryption algorithms designed to withstand attacks from quantum computers. Microsoft encrypts data in its products like Azure Cloud, Microsoft 365, and other cloud data. As cryptology capabilities increase, so does the sophistication of those who exploit the systems. It is a constant race of better locks and better lock picks. We use and create mission critical data in our shops, which means we need to be using the best locks. This week, the Federal Reserve reported that industrial production rose 0.8% in August after falling 0.9% in July. The total index was exactly even from August 2023 to August 2024 at zero change. Similarly, the output of manufacturing increased 0.9% in August after decreasing 0.7% in July up 0.2 year over year. The August increase was due in part to a recovery in the index of motor vehicles and parts, which jumped nearly 10% in August after dropping roughly 9% in July. The index for manufacturing excluded motor vehicles and parts moved up only 0.3% in August. Capacity utilization moved up to 78.0%. These numbers support our thesis of steady and level production for our shops, which is far better than drastic declines. Automotive continues to be the major market driver for manufacturing. 
On this week's Speaking of Precision podcast, Miles Free, David Wynn, and I are joined by PMPA's own Renee Merker to give listeners a peek into what to expect from the upcoming annual meeting in Dana Point, California. This podcast and our Speaking of Suppliers podcast can be found on major podcast platforms or on pmpa.org. Now it's time for our weekly tip. Physical safety in our shops is a priority, but did you know that psychological safety can improve production? To learn more about psychological safety in our shops, go to pmpa.org, Knowledge Centers, or Final Cut of the Week. And that's our take on what you need to know for the week ending September 20th, 2024. For additional information and links about any of the topics discussed today, go to pmpa.org and click on Final Cut of the Week. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next Friday. Why can't I do that? F O M C. F O M C. F O M C. O M. York City. Were little damaged. Damaged. Grew modest. You saved it so many times. I know. Confirmed on September. <laughs> Those numbers support a thesis of the God. God, you're so good. That's all right. We'll get this. We'll get this.